What's up guys, welcome back. So today we have an Admiral, Admiral from One Piece. So it's Akenu, or his other name is, I think, Sakazuki or something like that. So, um, landscape orientation page, use a pencil and hit pause if I go too fast. So he's got all these admirable admirals. Why can't I say admiral? Admirals. <laughs> have like massive shoulders in one piece, right? I know there was one person who kept requesting me to do the three of the admirals um, on the one page, but I couldn't fit them. They're like too big. I can get like one guy in the middle and then maybe another guy on the left, but I can't fit the third guy at all. It's just because their shoulders are so big with those jackets and stuff. So I couldn't even fit in the full shoulders on this one guy. So three guys is just impossible. It's just the way because of YouTube and the way you guys like zoom in and out and all that kind of stuff. So sorry about that. I'll have to do them one by one. Anyway, moving on. So his head's like right up here, okay? The whole head is here and then shoulders come off, right? So center point of my page is about here. That's probably where his chin will be. So we come up and over to here. Leave enough room for his hat just here, just at the top of my page is where his hat will finish. So, yeah, so let's go, right, so top eyelid. Let's see, so we'll start here. So we'll go diagonal up and down. He's real thin eyes, right? So we're down like that, and then we go diagonal down that side, and then up here towards the corner so then his iris just in here so it's like a circle but it's got like the top and the bottom kind of cut off right so it's like a tiny little circle just in here because his eyes are so thin and then his pupil just in the middle just in there okay so his eyebrow then, so he's got a big tick, tick of an eyebrow going up, or touches right the edge of his eyelid there, and this goes up, and then down, like that. It's like a tick that goes up and then down the bottom. And then it's like pointy here at the end, goes up like so. And then we'll bring it back down towards the front, so we'll just go Curves around here at the end. Okay. And then we give him kind of an eyelid line just up here. Okay, so we pretty much do the same thing on the other side, right? So we're about eye distance across, right? So he's in proportion. So the width of his eye come over, that's where his next eye will start, right? So you can fit an eye in between his two eyes, in between his tear ducts, that bit that's in against his nose, this bit here, right? This distance is the same in here, okay? And then you draw pretty much that same shape for his eye again. So it just comes over, down the back, and yeah, and then we go back this way. Same sort of thing like that. And then his iris and his pupil, just in here. Tiny circle, like so. And then we'll do the eyebrow again, same kind of thing. So just like a tick line going up like that. And then you bring it down. Back up and then down towards the bottom, down to there. And we give an eyelid line just in here. Okay, so we've got some like frown lines and stuff as well. So like some like frown lines going up around here. And he's got like, he's an old kind of guy. So he's got like lots of wrinkles and, and things on his forehead and around his eyes. 
Well, I'll, I'll probably add them at the end. We'll just get the main features in first. So his nose, so it comes down pretty much, say from his eyebrow here. So it goes down like this. On the left hand side, see going up towards his, his eyebrow. You can make it touch the eyebrow if you want it. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. And then there's a line on the other side. Coming down here. And it kind of goes up towards his eyebrow as well on that side. He's got a kind of a broad nose. And then, so in this character design, we have nostrils and like a pointy tip of his nose, right? So we got like the pointy tip of his nose down here. So it's like an arrow pointing down. And then the nostrils on the side. So say like these two curved lines just on the side of his nose. Okay, so that's the kind of nose we're going for with this guy. And coming out from the side of his nose, he's got those jaw marks, right? So it like, comes out like so, this kind of thing. You know, those, I don't know what you call them really. Okay, so his mouth, so he's got a long sort of mouth. It's like underneath his eyes, like his iris, right? That's where it starts. And he's got like a serious sort of downturned mouth, right? So it starts there. We'll do the middle line first. So we go diagonal up, bring it down, back up, and then back down to there. So I always, I always think of it like an outstretched um, letter M or the handle of a bow and arrow. So then his top lip just here goes up, down for the center, and back down into here. Okay. And then his bottom lip just down here. And there might be like some hatching and stuff just underneath that. Just on both sides for his like chin that comes down. And speaking of his chin, he's got a big sort of square chin, like a big one just here. Okay, now you can check your proportions now. So eyes to the bottom of his nose is about the same as bottom of his nose to say the middle of his chin. It doesn't go the whole way down. His face, this is like longer. So like, it's. I think it's because his eyes are like so small. So here to here is about the same as here to like the middle of his chin, okay? So this is the same as this. And you just put the chin down a little bit further. And then halfway between his nose and his chin, so nose to bottom lip, is about the same as bottom lip to chin line. So that's normal proportion. It's just because his eyes are real small. So then around his eyes, we've got like bags and sort of wrinkles and stuff. So we're just gonna add them, right? Before we move on to the jaws. Like this. This kind of thing, just to give him a sort of an aged look. So he's been around the block. He's seen a few fights. He's a hardened guy. Kind of looks like Thanos. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just noticed that he kind of does. <laughs> if he was purple, he'd be Thanos. Oh my God, okay. Conspiracy. Uh, jaw then comes up, stops just across his mouth and beyond his eye there, right? Jaw comes up the other side. Same sort of thing. And then you change direction and go up like so. Stop about here because that's where his ears will start. Oh my God, it is Thanos. And he's got like a jawline just down here on the side of his face. <laughs> like that. 
And then his ear, so sort of like a letter C kind of thing, just there. And the same on the other side. And bones and ligaments inside there. So the easiest way to do bones and ligaments is always like that letter J sort of thing. But you can always add more as you feel. Like so. And he's got sideburns as well and the hat. So we'll do the hat first, right? So the cap. So it kind of comes out from behind his ear. So it comes out here and then down. Same sort of thing here, out and then bring it down. So it goes down like towards his eyebrow, kind of touches the edge of his eyebrow there. And then curve around. Go up this way. that maybe some more frown sort of lines just there and he's got sideburns just coming down beside his ear here Hat comes up the side, so there's kind of these bumps and folds just on the side here. That kind of thing. Comes all the way up and around the top of my page, just right to the top there. So if you're wondering how high up. So, hat, the top of the hat to the eyebrow, the top of his eyebrow here, is about the same as the top of the eyebrow to his chin. Okay, so that's halfway between here and here. I'll just double check. Okay, cool. Uh, right, so the cap then, so we bring it up and around. Like so, goes all the way across. Like that, and then. Boop, like so. And then we have the section that says marine. So like, it's like a box, just comes around like so. And then we got blue stripes up the middle. Maybe some extra sort of fold lines just here on the side. Coming down here, that kind of thing. And right, so we'll write that marine thing. So, um, Kind of complicated. It's, it's in blue, but I'll just do it in black, all right? So we'll go for M first. So capital letters. M. I'll try and make them look more fancy in a second. I'll just get the main shapes into it. A. R. I N and E. Okay, so they kind of just look normal. So I'll just try and make them like change them into a different font, right? So So it's very hard to describe what I'm doing. I'm just like thickening up certain lines that I can see are thicker in the picture I'm drawing from. You know, some of them are thicker than others. And then you have those little spikes sticking off like the, the corners of each one. And like 
straight line on the on the ends like this. You know, you're just trying to replicate the font that's in the picture. That kind of thing. And then the M is like thicker line in the middle. Like that. Okay, his neck. So he's got a massive neck. So it like comes out from like his ear, I think. Yeah. Boom, like that. And on the other side as well. Crazy big neck. And then his shirt will come down the front. Like so, and on the other side. comes down this one goes down further actually so that goes down to there and like meets the other side here somewhere so then it should go back up and join that somewhere yeah so like there so then we got some like neck muscles and stuff in here neck muscle there neck muscle there and the neck muscle here. Some hatching on his neck, like there. Some hatching here. Collarbone. There. Another collarbone here and chest muscle there. Also has a tattoo on his neck, like a flower tattoo and purple and stuff. Um, might as well do it before we move on. So like circle and say a circle here and this has like a flower around it. They're kind of drawn kind of crudishly. They're not like, you know, they're not like super detailed or anything. They're kind of like, I don't know, no offense, but they're like ch the way a child would draw flowers. <laughs> Sorry, One Piece animators. It's like that kind of stuff, okay? Hey, maybe the tattoo actually looks like that, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, and then there's like purple spirals and spikes and stuff. So like a curve line here. And a few more of those, like curve line here. So these are all like purple inside and stuff. And purple in there, purple in here. And I think there's like, is it another neckline maybe? Like on his skin, so this is like part of his skin. It goes just like that way. Okay, so, all right, so let's do his shirt. So it comes out from behind his neck. Like that, it has a spike going back in. To there, and then we'll go back out. And then back in somewhere, like in here, boom that same thing on the other side so comes out so back in right there and then you go back out to another sort of triangly sort of point and then we bring it back down and this will go into here I think like so Flowers are over that too. So I'll just do the circles for them first and then draw those flowers around. I think there's one more up here somewhere. Like halfway on, halfway off. And there's a couple more on this side too.
Okay, so each one of those is a flower, so we just draw that same sort of flower that's on his tattoo. Pretty simple. They're actually not too detailed, they're like really crude. Okay, so next, so big white collar, right? So comes down this way, so let's see if we can, yeah, it comes down like so and then goes diagonal off there. And then comes down this side, goes diagonal off this way as well. Right, and then in here we have a suit, jacket, and a flower. More like a rose type flower, so it like comes down to here. And then another crisscross sort of line it goes down there. And then that comes up behind here and then up there. Um, right, then the other side of his lapel, so it'll go up in there. And then back like that. Um, right, so then there's like, there's like a rose, right? Hmm. So let's go for it, right? So it's like bumpy sort of lines coming around. So like petals bumping like so. Like that. This is like the outer edge. It's all bumpy. Okay, like that all crinkly. And then, so it goes into a center sort of heart sort of area, all the way in there. So it spirals out. Spiral out. And keep going. Spiral out. Keep going. Like so. Um, so this kind of thing, you're not like you're not like adding like full details or anything. You're just lightly sketching in and suggesting leaf petals. And then the other side of the jacket comes out like there. And I think we have a button here, like a circle, just for a button. Just there. Right, so the other side of that big collar, right? So the, like the top of it, it comes out from behind his hat. Okay, same on this side. So like, out to there. And then diagonal, down like that. And same on this. That, right and then curve it around bring it back in curve it around bring it back in and then like so and pretty much the same here down to there and then out down off the page like that, and then out, down, off the page there. And then line down like so, line down like so. And then, right, so those big shoulders that I was talking about, so they go off my page, right? So we go off like this, and this one as well. We might be able to fit this, you know, that gold sort of dangling thing. We might be able to fit this full one on it. So, 
comes down like so around like this so we'll do this one then we'll go over and do the other one so hope like so around under here and then we have another sort of edge line like this that goes up into there and then the rest of it goes off that goes off my page and he's got those golden tassels that sort of come down the side that real long and they kind of bump across them it was off my page and then you just add the lines going down like so so it doesn't have to be exactly like mine all the lines you know they're they sort of move and go in different directions and stuff. And then there's extra like fold lines down here. Fold line in there. And that other one on the other side goes off my page, couldn't fit it in. It mustn't be even. So just here. Same thing, it's a mirror image anyway on both sides. You just copy one side from the other. And then the tassels pump down. Like so, and right there. Fold line like so. And I think that's everything. How to draw a Kano from One Piece. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.